Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of the Creation Corner. I'm your host, Brian Ingram. Now, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I have been attending IADT online, trying to get my bachelor's degree in digital media production. And along the way, I've decided to take what I learned in school and pass it on to you guys. Today is, an, is another example of that. Today we're gonna be talking about three-point lighting. Now, three-point lighting is often used for interviews or even for shows like this. So let's take a look at my setup here. Okay, as you can see here, I have my key light, my fill light, and my backlight. Your key light is your main light. That's the light that you want directly on your subject, or in, in this case, I want it on me. I believe the standard ratio for your key to fill is a two to one ratio. Now, what that means is basically, let's say you have a 200 lux key light, well then you're gonna want a 100 lux fill light. You can go to this link here and it will explain a little bit more about ratios. You've got your key light and your fill light. Now you also need a backlight. Your backlight will help you separate your subject from your background, which in my case is just a green screen, which is a whole nother lighting subject that we can get into, but not today. We'll get into that later on. Generally, you wanna put your key light about a 45 degree angle from your camera. And then on the other side, you wanna add your fill light in at about the same angle from your camera. And your backlight is generally across from your key light. However, in my case, I have it in the background just above me. And obviously different lights can achieve different effects. You know, you can add in gels or you can add different colored lights. Uh, me, I'm using all three fluorescent lights because I, I, I like the, to me it's soft. It's, I like that soft lighting. Different cameras can affect your lighting as well. So. Take for instance, my Sony here, my little handy cam. I've gotta have an extreme amount of light for this thing. Um, the lighting setup I have, I'm using now, not nowhere near good enough. The green doesn't pop like I need it to for when I'm keying, and that's why I'm using the Canon to film with. Another thing you can do is once you get it into your uh, editing suite, you can adjust the lighting and brightness and darkness there as well to kind of help with, with whatever effect you're trying to achieve. You can go to this link here and download a diagram of a typical three-point lighting setup. I'll also have a photo of my typical lighting setup for this show. Well, there you go, guys. Hope that helped you out a little bit. And until next time, blessed be.